official fall time in my house. I hope that it is in your house as well. It is October, which means it is Crocktober. So this month, especially, I'm going to be doing a lot more of like um, Crock-Pot meals. So my first one that you're going to see today is going to be a Crock-Pot keto one. I really enjoy doing keto for the most part. Um, it's just, it makes me feel better. I love the, the way keto makes me feel. And uh, I know it's kind of hard. I, I so enjoy breads, but keto is such a good lifestyle to have. And so I'm going to be sharing with you guys some keto crock pot meals. I hope that you guys enjoy these. Let's get started. Okay, here's all the ingredients we're going to need for tonight's dinner. I'm going to be making crack chicken, which I have made several, several times. Me and my family really, really enjoy it, especially my husband. So I'm going to use about three chicken breasts. I have, I think, half of it, like a regular thing that you get at Walmart. Um, so I have half of it in here. So I will use in most of this bag. I'm going to use three to four chicken breasts. And then I'm going to use about a cup of cheddar cheese. I'm going to use about an ounce of some ranch seasoning. And then I'm going to want about half a packet, half a pound of bacon. This is about half a pound right here. So I'm going to go ahead and use up um, what's left um, of this bacon. And then I'm going to need some garlic powder, about a teaspoon of garlic powder, and then one block of cream cheese. Now I've seen other recipes where you can use two blocks of cream cheese. I just typically kind of do one block of cream cheese just because this meal is already typically more on the expensive side because of all the cheeses, the bacon that we're using. So I'm just going to use one thing of cream cheese. If I need more cheese, I can just add like just a little bit of some more uh, cheddar cheese. And um, yeah, and I'm going to put this on some like low carb tortillas or I can do low carb. I have low carb bread, which is great. And so that's usually what we do for this type of meal. So let's get started. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add our chicken to the bottom of the crock pot. And then I'm going to add about an ounce of ranch seasoning. Then we're going to add in about a teaspoon of garlic powder. And then we're gonna add in our cream cheese on top. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on and I'm gonna let this cook on high for about four hours. So I am making all of the bacon. I had a little bit of an incident, I don't know. Sometimes my, like, the heat just like cranks way up all of a sudden. I don't know what the deal is. It's happened several times recently. So <laughs> I don't have exactly half a pound anymore. Um, but it'll be fine. We'll still have some bacon for our meal. So I'm going to go ahead and then um, just cut all these up, dice it up into little pieces. Okay, and then I'm going to come over here and see how this is doing. And then I'm just going to shred this up. I like to use my meat masher to do my chicken as well. I think it just works way better. And then once this is all shredded, then I'm going to go ahead and add about a cup and a half of cheese. Woo! Okay, now I have my cheese. I'm just going to toss in here. It's about a cup and a half. And I'm gonna give this a good stir. Okay, now my son's gonna add in the bacon, which is the best part. There we go. Give this another good stir. And we are ready to assemble our sandwiches. Okay, so I have my low carb tortillas right here. And these, it says it's keto verified. I don't think, yeah, there's no carbs in this one. I love, I love these little ones because they're great for like fajitas and little tacos. So I'm going to go ahead and just plate this. Maybe it's a little bit too much. Like so. And there we go. We have a cute little sandwich. Keto sandwich. Okay, here are the ingredients we're going to need for tonight's meal. I'm going to need about half a jar of pepperoncinis, and then I need about an ounce of ranch seasoning. And I'm going to need one packet of odd just gravy mix, and then half of um, a cup of butter, which is one stick. And then I'm going to need about three to four chicken breasts. Okay, I'm going to take my chicken and just dump them at the very bottom of my crock pot. I only have three chicken breasts. Three to four is about what you're going to need. Then I'm going to take my Aljus gravy mix. Alright, and then I'm going to take about an ounce of a ranch, or you guys can do like those packets. I usually just buy these big things and measure it out or whatever I think it's going to be. 
And then I have one stick of butter we're gonna put right on top, just like so. And then I had this in the fridge. I'm just gonna get rid of this. You need about half a jar, so this is about perfect. Okay, and then I'm gonna throw some carrots in here so we can have that as a side. And then put the lid on. Let this cook on high for about four hours. Okay, this has been cooking on high for about four and a half hours. Now my, I'm gonna go ahead and take out all of my carrots, all the vegetables. And then I'm gonna take out my chicken as well. I just wanna get this um, juice right here. I'm gonna get a little bit thicker so we can kind of have a gravy. Um, and then I'm gonna shred up this chicken just a little bit. Okay, as I'm taking out all the carrots, you know, these the juice is actually fairly thick. I don't think I'm gonna thicken it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and shred this up. And then we will be ready to eat. And I want that juice in there with that chicken. It's gonna make it super, super tender. And yes, that, that um, I'll just pack it. It does have like a little bit of carbs in it, but it's fine for this meal. Um, I'm gonna pair mine with some green beans and a salad. So we're gonna have under 10 grams of carbs for this meal, which I think is very, very good for a whole meal. Here is our dinner today. We're having some green beans and then the carrots. And then here is our chicken. It is super, super tender. It's soaked up in all of that gravy mix that we had. Very, very delicious. And then I also paired it with a salad. Tonight, we're gonna to be making some chicken queso tacos. So here are all the ingredients we're going to be needing for tonight's meal. So I'm gonna start off with some green chilies. And then we're gonna need this whole packet of taco seasoning. I'm only gonna need about a half a cup of chicken broth. And then I have some, basically you guys can do Rotels, or, and yes, I do say it with an S, <laughs> or you can do, I'm just gonna use up these um, diced tomatoes, green chilies, almost the same thing. And then we're gonna need about a cup of queso, and then of course we're gonna need about three chicken breasts. I'm gonna start off by putting in three very large chicken breasts at the very bottom of my crock pot. Next, I'm gonna sprinkle in our taco seasoning mix. Okay, then we have our can of diced tomatoes. We have our can of green chilies. We have half a cup of chicken broth. And then I'm gonna put in about a cup of queso. I'm not gonna measure, I'm just gonna guess. That looks about right. Okay, we're gonna put the lid on and I'm gonna let this cook on a low heat for about five to six hours. Okay, so it has been cooking for about five hours. I'm gonna go ahead and just shred this up. Okay, so I went ahead and got all this shredded up and look, these are <laughs> looking so good. So these are gonna make some really, really delicious tacos. I am so, so very excited for it. Okay, so I have my tortilla and I put some, some um, sour cream at the very bottom. And now I'm just going to put in some of my, my stuff right here. And then I also put in some lettuce and cheese and then a little bit of black beans that I had in my fridge and voila, we're gonna have a delicious taco. Okay, here are the ingredients we're gonna need for tonight's dinner. Um, I'm gonna be doing some smothered pork chops, of course, keto style. Um, so we're gonna need our pork chops. We're gonna need about half of an onion. And then I'm gonna need about half a cup of some beef broth. We're gonna need some cream of mushroom soup. And yes, this does have carbs and it. it has 26, but we're gonna be dividing this probably six ways because it's gonna feed the six of us. Um, so 26 divided by four is gonna give us a little bit over um, four grams per uh, serving. So I think that's totally fine. I try to limit my um, carb count under 10 per serving, just and I only eat twice a day. So, you know, 20 to 40 carbs a day is perfect for me. So I think that this meal is gonna be perfect. 
we're gonna have we're gonna need some pepper some garlic powder and then also some paprika and maybe just like a little bit of salt for flavoring so let me show you how we're gonna do today's meal so I'm gonna go ahead and add my pork chops at the very bottom of my crock pot I'm gonna add six of them I'm only gonna do three for right now and then I'm gonna put our um, mix that we're getting ready to do I'm only gonna add half of it right now because I'm gonna make a kind of like a slurry of things that we're gonna put on top of that. So I'm gonna grab my bowl and I'm gonna put our cream and mushroom soup at the very bottom. Okay, and then I have my half a cup of chick or beef broth. I'm always doing chicken, so beef broth. And then I have one teaspoon of garlic powder one teaspoon of paprika and then one teaspoon of pepper and then i decided to actually add in some minced garlic as well so i'm going to add in about two teaspoons of mixed minced garlic and then i'm going to give this a little bit of a stir i'm going to bring my pork chops back and then i'm just going to add half of this sauce Right on top of those. And then I'm gonna add the remaining three more. Just like that. Then I'm gonna take the rest of our sauce and just put it directly on top. Just like so. Make sure they have some sauce on all of the pork chops here. Okay. And then we have our onions and I'm just gonna put that right on top. Nice and neat. And there we go. Okay, I'm gonna cook mine on high for about four hours or you can cook this on low for six to eight hours. Okay, here is our dinner tonight. I have our pork chops and it is just falling apart, you guys. It's super, super good. And then um, I paired it with some green beans and then I have a side salad as well. So, absolutely delicious. Okay, here's everything we're gonna need for tonight's dinner. Um, I know this seems like a lot of chicken, but trust me, we're a family of six and yeah, we can eat all that. <laughs> And it would be nice to have just like a little bit of leftovers as well for my husband's lunches. So we'll we'll just see though. Um, I'm going to need some Parmesan cheese. Um, I'm going to need just like I think half a cup of baby spinach. And then I need some garlic. I need sun-dried tomatoes or I'm just going to use fire rosa just because it's a lot cheaper. And then I need some heavy whipping cream, about a cup. For seasonings, I'm going to need some paprika, salt. Italian seasoning and then some pepper and then I have my chicken you guys can use um, uh, Chicken breast or you can use chicken thighs whichever you guys prefer. I just prefer the Chicken thighs. I think they're a better meat. So I'm just gonna use that um, And I have that in my freezer so that if you could you guys just use whatever you have Okay, let's get started on today's crock pot meal Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put all this at the bottom of my crock pot. I have a whole bunch of chicken and so I'm just going to put a little bit at a time just because my crock pot's a little bit more narrow. So I'm going to season some of these. I've got some salt, some paprika, and then just like a little bit of Italian seasoning, and then a little bit of pepper. Okay just want those to be seasoned a little bit and then I will go ahead and put the rest on top of that I just went ahead and used the whole package that I had that's why I have so much here <laughs> and then just a little bit more salt pepper Italian seasoning and y'all know I love my paprika so I'm not gonna skip on that Okay, now I'm just gonna set this to the side. And then I'm gonna get a bowl and I'm gonna make a sauce. 
So I'm going to add one cup of heavy whipping cream. I'm going to put in about two teaspoons of garlic, some minced garlic. Then I need about a, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, about an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper. Then I have a quarter of a cup of Parmesan cheese. And then I'm going to go ahead and add in my whole can of diced tomatoes. I put it will come. Good night. It's like packed in there real good. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and give this a good stir. Okay, and you can use some cornstarch to kind of thicken this up. I'm not going to, um, just because that'll add to the carb count here and so I'm just going to if I need to thicken it up after it's done cooking I'll add just like a teeny bit of xanthan gum but we're gonna just see how it is if I need to I always can but for now I'm just gonna leave it as is I'm gonna bring my crock pot back and then I'm just gonna pour this right on top and then because we're cooking with dairy I'm gonna only be cooking this on low for about three to four hours. The recipe calls for three hours. So we will check it at three hours and see how it's doing. Okay, so this has been cooking for about, let's see, about three hours now. I'm gonna go ahead and take about half a cup of spinach. I'm just gonna lay it on top and let that cook for about another 30 minutes. I'm gonna wanna thicken this up just a tad. So I'm just gonna add about half a teaspoon of xanthan gum, kind of mix it around. You can also take out the chicken and then kind of mix it around that way too. But I'm just going to be lazy and do it this way. And let this cook for another couple minutes and let it get a little bit thicker. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you guys like it. If you guys like Crock-Pot meals, give me a thumbs up. If you guys like keto meals, give me a big thumbs up. I actually do want to know if you guys like keto meals because I would really like to do a lot more keto meals. So just let me know in the comments below if you guys enjoy keto anything. And so thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.